Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time stopping by, hello, my name's Anthea and I create fashion, beauty and lifestyle videos. So if you enjoy hauls, unboxings, that kind of thing, please do consider hitting the red subscribe button down below. And whilst you're hitting the red subscribe button, please make sure you hit the notification bell and that way you will know when I've uploaded any new videos. And if you do end up liking the videos, please do hit the thumbs up. That will really, really help my channel. So with all that being said, let's get on with the video. So in today's video, I'm going to be running through my, what I would class as a relatively small perfume collection. So uh, I do have a new item to my collection. So if you are interested to know what that is, I'm going to unbox that towards the end of the video. So make sure you continue watching on. Okay, so I'm going to go through these in no particular order. I'm just going to give you an idea of some of the notes that they have in them. So the first perfume that we have up is the Chanel Chance. Now this one is, I wouldn't say this is one I reach for on a regular basis. This isn't one of my top, my, my favourites in all honesty. However, the notes for here are, it's, it's quite a floral um, fragrance and it has pink pepper in there, patchouli. Um, I think it does have some jasmine and amber in there also. So it's 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 kind of up my street when it comes to scents because I do feel like I like a musky, uh, I do like patchouli and that kind of fragrance in my perfumes however I don't know there's just something about this I, I don't love I don't hate it but I just don't love it I say it's not one that I reach for all the time um, and I picked this I got this for I think it was a Christmas gift was it last last year no the year before we got about, about two or three years ago and as you can see you know it's I, I use it I do use it as I say it's just not something that I would probably repurchase myself in, in, in all honesty so that's the um, Chanel chance and then next we've got this one now this one I absolutely adore this one oh my god this is one of my most favorite 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 fragrances this is the Atelier cologne and it's in the vanilla essence and um, it says cologne absolute 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 yeah i actually picked this up as a tester in i think it was like tk max and i absolutely adored it went online to see if i could find it managed to find it and i was dis oh, i was quite shocked at the price of it then in all honesty because it isn't a cheap perfume but i absolutely adore this this is right up miami it's miami <laughs> my alley so it's got citron coriander, vetiver, oak moss, jasmine and um, as a base and then it's got obviously the vanilla and the amber. It's just absolutely divine. I find that I used to really like sweet scents many years ago and I feel like as I potentially have matured I, I like a more spicy kind of musky kind of smell um, and this it's a little bit sweeter than musky because I think with the vanilla that gives it that sweet kind of smell but I absolutely adore this it's absolutely beautiful worth every penny um, I do use it not you know too often but hey, this is in the does it say what mill I don't know what mill this is I think this is one of the larger sizes but I absolutely love this it is so worth even if you're able to go in go in store and try it please please do i would highly highly recommend this one absolutely love it so next we have the giorgio armani c now this one i have um, this is my second bottle of this um absolutely adore this again it's got the kind of notes that i tend to gravitate towards so it has the patchouli in here it's got vanilla um it's kind of a quite a woody kind of scent absolutely stunning again this is something that i reach for on a more regular basis as well you know again just whenever i'm in the mood and it's yeah so nice again really nice i uh, love the bottle really simple and um, classic nothing really to not nothing too fussy but yeah i would definitely recommend this one as well i really do like this yes definitely one of my faves now this one here um we have from liz earl and this is their very botanical essence number 15 um is it Eau de Parfum, yeah, Eau de Parfum, and this is in a 50ml now, but it comes with its own little box, which I thought was really nice, and then the actual bottle looks like so, I'll, I'll be doing close-ups of these, so you will, you'll see them in close-up, but absolutely, this again is another one where it's, um, this has got bogomont, cedarwood, 
patchouli, sandalwood. Again, you know where I'm, you see where I'm going with, with the scents now, but I, but I like this one. Oh God. I tend to, to reach for this more sort of an evening. I wouldn't say it's necessarily an evening fragrance, but I think the spiciness of it, it just kind of gives you that, well me anyway, it gives me that, that mood as a as more of an evening fragrance, but I absolutely adore this. Uh, in all fairness, I can just about see, I've still got quite a lot left, but the, the, bo the bottle is like not glass see-through, so you can't really see what's in it, but with the lights, cameras and stuff, I can see that I've got quite a lot left in there, so I love that. So that's one of my... That I've repurchased this a couple of times. I think this is my settled second bottle of this, so yeah, really like that one. And then next we have uh, Tom Ford, and this is the uh, what's it called? Grey Vetiver, it's called. And in all honesty, I've had this for a, quite a long time, and it's not a perfume that I reach for day to day. This is another one where I'd probably reach for this on an evening. Now this one's got grapefruit, blo orange blossom, um, and it's got nutmeg. So again, it's quite a woodsy kind of scent as well. I don't know, there's just something about this that I don't love. I think it's very similar to the Chanel Chance for me, in the sense that it's, I don't know, there's, I don't hate it, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't purchase this again. Um, I just don't really love it, as I say. Evening time, if I'm going out, then yeah, I'll, I'll spritz this, because again, I feel like it's, it gives you that kind of evening vibe for me, but just like every day, no, it, unfortunately it's not one that I reach for often, so, but you know, we live and we, live and we learn, we know which, I think as time goes on, you just learn to know which kind of fragrance, fragrances that you kind of gravitate to, and I think as the years have gone on for me, um, it's quite evident that I, I kind of do realise that I like a, a specific um, kind of scent, so. But you know, I will continue to use it and it will eventually get used, <laughs> eventually. So, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we have a bit of an unboxing. So I managed to get a gift. So this is a Jo Malone fragrance that I got for Christmas. As you can see, it's not unboxed or anything. Um, so I'm gonna unbox this with you guys. Um, so let's, let's do it. So I'm gonna open this package beautifully. I'll be getting rid of that. Don't so I'll just show you what it looks like inside. This obviously got a package. Oh, it's actually, oh, I've sprayed it with um, the actual fragrance as well. So let's see. Ooh, get something else in there. Get rid. Oh, and then this is what it looks like. Again, very, very well packaged. I mean, for the price, <laughs> one wouldn't expect anything less. No, but oh wow. <sighs> Hope you can see this. I will do um, a cutaway of this and um, of the unboxing of it so you can see it. Might as well. yeah, so I'll do it. I'll do um, I'll do a cutaway of this so you can actually see it because the, the lights blow it out a little bit. There we have it. The the fragrance is the Jo Malone Pomegranate Noir Cologne. Cologne? Yeah, Cologne. It's this is another one which is one of my all-time favourites. Um, you know, it has those notes of um, pomegranate, pink pepper, and Casa and I think it's Casablanca lilies. I, I I don't know what it is. This is absolutely divine. Um, oh God. Again, it's that kind of, it, it must be the pink pepper. Is it, it must be the pink pepper that draws me into them every time. I'm just looking at the notes of the majority of them, and I think they all have pink pepper, all that kind of, hmm. Well, then again, the Chanel Chance actually has pink pepper in there as well, and that's not my favorite, but I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but this is one of my all-time favorites as well. This will be repeat purchase for me. Um, I'd be really interested if you want to leave whatever your favorite fragrance is in the comment section down below. Uh, as I say, my, my collection is quite small, but I'm also still open to new scents. Um, and also not necessarily very popular scents. I know there's a lot of stuff that's 
over the internet these days where which everybody wears and everyone's kind of sought after but it'd be really helpful to kind of know some niche um, fragrances that no one's really talking about um, and just kind of um, you know add to my collection so I don't need a massive collection but it'd be nice to kind of add some new ones in so if there's anything that you think I might be interested in or what are your favourites please do leave it in the comment section down below it would be really helpful okay <laughs> so my lovelies that is the end of today's video if you made it to the end thank you so much for watching and if you did, make sure that you hit the red subscribe button before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Also make sure you hit the notification bell as well, that way you won't miss any of my uploads. And if you did end up enjoying the video, please do make sure you hit the thumbs up, that will help my channel immensely. And what I will also do is at the end of the video, I will leave a playlist uh, of some of my older videos or some of the videos that you may not have seen so if you're interested to see some of my other bits and bobs that I've got on my channel please do make sure you click in to some of those now with all that being said I'm gonna go and I will see you in my next video bye